Good morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've just woke up, I need to put dry shampoo in my hair so just ignore that but I want to start the vlog now. Um, just making myself a quick coffee and I think I'm going to have some toast. But I don't want to vlog today, it's a Sunday and we're having a little bit of like a home kind of choresy day. So I thought I would vlog it for you. So we're going to B&Q, we have a list for B&Q and um, we've just like things that need fixing and we're also going to get some paint the bathroom just things like that so i thought i'd take you on my day i'm gonna do a little bit of sorting today a little bit of organizing just yeah like a little bit of like a chores day <laughs> so not that interesting but i like these kind of vlogs like i love seeing people do like little home shops and just like little just sorting out their cupboards and cleaning i just love everything like that so i did actually want to go to ikea because i want to get the shoe unit for the hallway but harrison said that he doesn't want to go to ikea on a sunday i don't know what difference that is to being cute but apparently Ikea's a step too far on a Sunday, so we're not going there, but hopefully we'll go this week because I really want to get a shoe unit to put all our shoes away. Also have a little bit of a smell problem. Um, so we're doing Hello Fresh again, we've been really enjoying it, so I do Hello Fresh again, and we had like a pasta on Friday, which was two days ago now, and we always double up on the garlic dosage because I feel like it's never enough. So it was one clove, but then Harrison did three. Well, slight issue, our kitchen's tinks of garlic like and i can't get the smell away i don't know where it's coming from i don't know if it's like seeped into the bloody chopping boards or like honestly the smell is so strong in this kitchen it's like pure garlic and it's been two days and i don't know what to do to get rid of this guy i mean the dinner was absolutely delicious like it was 10 out of 10 it's a creamy mushroom truffle pasta we may have over garlic because it literally stinks. So that's an issue. But yeah, I'm just gonna make myself a coffee, sort myself out, get ready. My hair actually doesn't look too bad, it just needs like a brush. Um and then we're gonna go to B and Q nice and early. We're gonna go for when it opens 10 o'clock so it doesn't get too busy. I mean I don't know if B and Q does get busy, but we're gonna go there and do a little bit of food shopping. And yeah, I thought I'd just take you along my little chorsy, chorsy day. home base as well oh my gosh do your little being cute home base horse so exciting show you guys what we picked up so i picked up this plant for the bathroom i thought it was quite nice obviously harrison's gonna deep pot it and then i bought this like um gray kind of concrete vase this plant so i thought to put that in the bathroom we picked up the bathroom paint but basically we bought little testers we had the testers like two months ago so i actually forgot what color we had chosen and this um name sort of rung a bell pavilion gray so i'm hoping that that's right because i actually forgot what one we used and i didn't write it down which is a bit stupid got another little green tester for the bedroom because we're going to do some swatches on the bedroom wall because we're going to strip the wallpaper this is treron it's a great we also have these are from quite a while ago a few other little green swatches that we're going to do today for yeah the wall behind the bed so we've got some green little swatches wd 40 don't know i see what that's for i'm not sure i've got some strings we need that for the bathroom a bulb for the bedroom lamp got some plant feeder for the living room super glue we've got some brass door handles because we're gonna try and replace the handles that are on the wardrobe right now because they're silver i'm gonna change all the hardware there to brass so we bought these from bq and just little brass door handles um to change on the wardrobe so i think harrison's gonna give that a go today 
Uh, we've got a little gold um, door lock thing because they're on the bathroom silver at the minute. So we want to change that. Little brushes, some paint. Picked up this white photo frame in home base. I thought it was really nice. Like it looks a little, a little bit aged. And it was like four pounds from home base. And the lamp in the bedroom is white. So I thought this might tie in quite nicely. Um, and then we just got some M&S. Got some sausages. Harris wants a sausage sandwich. And some bacon. And that's everything we picked up. The only thing we didn't get is we want to replace all of the door handles. They're silver at the minute. Um, we can't change them to brass because like the hardware in the kitchen silver and the hallway so we're going to go for like matte black um ones but we couldn't find any so i'm going to order them online today and um, like some matte black round door handles for the doors to change them from the silver ones so yeah it's something that we picked up let's start doing these little things now. i'm quite excited to do these little swatches on the wall um i basically just want like a olivey green to match the chest of drawers on the back wall behind the bed and that look really nice and then when we replace everything with the brass as well i think that would look cool also ordered our bedroom mirror yesterday we replaced it with um it's just a plain like arched brass mirror because at the minute it is not that i haven't made the bed because i'm stripping the bed today but at the minute it's this kind of silver vintagey feel um so i've just bought like a brass like big oval standing one which should be coming in a couple of days which is exciting but yeah, I'm just going to get started with some few like choresy things now. I need to change the bedding, um, clean the kitchen. Oh my gosh, try and get rid of the garlic smell. I've got loads to do for putting the dishwasher. So yeah, I'm not going to lie though. I do love these kinds of Sundays. Like when you're just kind of indoors, but it's kind of productive. Like you're just doing bits and bobs that you usually don't have time for. So think about it. We've got quite a lot of green swatches. There's four there. Yeah, I wonder if that's the right grey. I feel like I must have the tester somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where the tester point is, but I'm hoping that this is the right paint because it rings a bell, so let's hope for the best. So these are the silver handles on the wardrobe right now. Yeah, they're the two, two different. I mean, it doesn't make that much difference, but. <laughs> <laughs> Why, are these different? They are brass, aren't they? Maybe we should have gone for the gold ones. I feel like that looks a lot better now. This is like a creamy sort of frame before. So now I feel like it looks nice and clean and then just taking the handles off. I mean, to be fair, I think maybe we should have gone for more. Oh no, they do look more goldy there actually. I think once we change all the lights and stuff to a brass, it'll all go a little bit more. Right, we are really making our way through the chores. I say we, but I mean, all I've done is put dishwasher on, but <laughs> we, I, no, Harrison even. God, I keep trying to take the credit. So we've got the doorknobs that I showed you now in brass. Harrison's currently taking off some wallpaper because we're gonna do some paints, which is we have my new little photo frame. Oh yeah, I got this yesterday from HM Home to put my jewelry in. That was quite cute and it matched really well with the, it was a bit of a gamble, but they actually matched so well with the handles. That's one of our new lamp, that's from the White Company, HM Home, and then yeah, that's Home Base. Also I got from H&M Honey, which I do not recommend. Um, so I'm obsessed with candles. I go through like a candle a week at this point. Like I'm having to buy them constantly. So I just go through them so quickly. So I got this one from H&M Home. I've tried to save it already with some foil. Um, so basically, I like to do my research on candles. The wax has to burn all the way to the edges so that it's like even, otherwise you're gonna tunnel and you're gonna waste those wax. This was actually burning for like six, seven hours yesterday and it did not burn, like it just won't, the wax isn't getting hot so it's not burning properly. So don't recommend, that was 15 pound. And also it doesn't smell of anything. So I think I'm just gonna use this as like decor in the bedroom. But I do actually like to have candles that I, you know burn smell really nice i love the woodwick ones i got one from tk max which was really nice so i think i'm just gonna have to go back there because i can rely on them but yeah 15 pounds and it just if you actually want to burn them don't recommend if you want it for decor then i guess it's quite nice but yeah i got the connection home tried the foil to heat it up to get it to burn properly but it, it didn't work now we're gonna do the green swatches on the wall i'll show you guys what paints we have that we've picked if any of you are interested oh geez what's that you look great do we need a pencil to well that's a nice color isn't it that's a really good green that's little green what's it called Tall sage green sage green it's not far off the phone. yeah so we kind of want it to match this green chest of drawers that we got okay i don't know where he's gone but i'm gonna do the swatches and then i'll tell you what so we've got that one which is little 
let this paint in and then I'll tell you which ones if any of you are looking for a green you know you never know I feel like this is dirty I might put yeah this is the candle that I got from TK Maxx and it's so nice and I'm really gutted because it's nearly run out and it literally smells like a spa like a like really clean scent and it also looks really nice on the bedside I mean um under the telly it's called natural essentials sandalwood balance Oh no, I've got a spot coming up. I realised I didn't film the other colours. Um, but we've gone for the one on the left anyway. You kind of can see what it's going to look like with the bed. I can't really see the other colours, but it was just... Oh, there we go. That one was too green. The other one was a bit too grey. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. So we need to go buy a big pot of that. And then it's literally just going to be the wall that has wallpaper on it. Um, it's like a bit of a green. And then obviously like brass lights and stuff on it. So really excited so we have just ordered i'll show you actually because it probably won't be in this vlog because they're probably not going to come for a couple of days and then god knows how long until we actually put them up but we had just ordered some sets of these they're like matte black um door handles to change the it's not a focus but the silver ones it's like a matte black and they kind of have like an oldie look to them so i'm really happy with them so i just ordered them as well and i was just saying i feel like i don't know if i've said this in this vlog already because i feel like i repeat myself a lot probably said this to harrison like 50 times today but i feel like it's the little things that really make a big difference like when you change little bits and bobs i feel like it makes a big difference i was just looking at because i'm going to replace like the light switches and the plug sockets in here with brass ones so i've added that all to my basket on pookie hope that they then send a discount code you know sometimes when you put those are things in your baskets and then don't order it they'll email your discount code so that's what i've done i've added everything i want into my basket and then i'm hoping that they email my discount code because when you buy all the light switch covers and the plug socket covers it actually comes to quite a lot of money so hopefully they will email me a discount code but yeah it is now this day is just flown by it's now 10 to 3 we're just gonna have like fish fingers and beans for dinner something like that it's our food shop day tomorrow so we don't really have much in i now need to do what i've been saying i need to do all day i need to put the washing away change the bed sheets iron the bed sheets hoover clean oh i think i got rid of the smell of the garlic though i washed our chopping boards about seven times each and the smell's kind of fading from the kitchen so it could they it could have seeped into the chopping boards that's what i'm thinking but yeah that's been my day so uh yeah i'm just gonna carry on with my little chores this is my first attempt at, uh, attempt at ironing because i've not had to iron yet like everything that i've washed i think was winter clothes you don't really need to iron it so i'm just trying to well that's dusty i'm just trying to turn it to put you iron the bed sheets but Really basically i'm struggling i don't know how to use this iron it's like a steamer thing um and then these are like my attempts that i've done but you can still see all the creases where it was folded in the packet oh I oh so i finished doing the bed this is my first attempt of an iron of the bed and i say my attempt because harrison actually ironed this and i like fed it through to him it was kind of like a two-man job i don't know how i'd do it on my own um yeah, I think it went okay. They look so fresh. I'm gonna have a shower, so I'm nice and fresh to get. Like when I change my bed sheets, I have to have a shower immediately before I get into them because I have got to make sure I'm like 100% clean. I look like an absolute mess. Um, I've hooed everywhere. I've actually ordered some throws and a cushion, like some cushions and stuff for the bed as well. So that looks nicer. So that should be coming in a few days. So yeah, just some bits and bobs that I've sort of been ordering. Um, we're gonna pop to the co-op to get some snacks because we forgot to get some snacks but i'm so excited but anybody watch happy valley like i am obsessed with happy valley we've actually got three episodes to watch because we've been been watching stranger things we haven't had time for happy valley it's just been you know too much with binging stranger things so yeah we're gonna binge three episodes of happy valley and i want to get some snacks for it because that's a long time but i'm so excited so yeah co-op shower and then we're gonna binge watch happy valley I need to do a little bit of skincare. I feel like I've got a spot coming out. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with all the all like choresy things today. The kitchen still smells of garlic. Um, I literally don't know where it's coming from. Like I've scrubbed the chopping balls, I did all the dishes, I've cleaned all the surfaces, 
and you walk into the kitchen it stinks of garlic i just don't know how where it's coming from or how to get rid of it so yeah there's that I'm literally so pissed off this is my little setup that i've done i really felt like filming a get ready with me this morning i thought well, that'd be really nice like i'm really into get ready with me videos sit down on the dining table have a little chat literally within two minutes i don't even know if he's still there but the british gas man came and he literally has been doing something with the meters for about an hour and the meters are literally outside our front doorstep and like our front door to the flat so it's literally like having him in, an, in the room next to me obviously i can hear him he could hear me and i don't want to be talking to the camera it's too embarrassing and then i feel like he's leaving now and they're outside now people have come with leaf blowers and they're blowing leaves so yeah i feel a little bit i don't know the right word like disheartened i was really ready to feel get rid of me and now I just feel like a bit pissed off um obviously it's just one of those things it's just not meant to be so i'm going to give it like another 20 minutes half hour and if there's still ruckus going on i'm probably going to have to film the get rid of me another day so basically what i was trying to say earlier so i set everything up for a get ready with me you know just really in the mood um i filmed about five minutes um of the get ready with me all set up nice and organized you know ready for a chatty video it's like i've not done that in a really long time well obviously i chat a lot in my vlogs but like a sit down different sort of style of video and then the British gas man comes and he's with one of the neighbours and the meters are right outside our front door. So I'm like, oh, it's fine. They're just checking the meter. You know, let's just stay calm. Yeah. So obviously I can't, well, I went, technically I could film, but I can hear them talking and they can hear me. So you'd probably hear it in the background of the video as well. Do you know how long he was in the hall doing the meters? Like over two hours. I don't even know what he was doing. I was almost tempted to go out there and be like, what are you up to? Like, what is going on? What takes two hours? He was in the hall for two hours. He didn't play music or anything. Like, he was silent, but I could just hear him like rustling around. And it's literally like he's behind that wall. Like it's it's too awkward. I can't sit and film. Do you know what I mean? It's just too awkward. And then as he's packing up to leave, guess who else comes out to play? The leaf blower. Someone's blowing the leaves out the front by the front. See, I'm sitting right out the front. So yeah, I just ended up putting a bit of makeup on and yeah, I'm a bit, I mean, to be fair, he's literally just left like five minutes ago. But now the lighting's gone a bit that too, a bit too much, like the sun's starting to move. So it's just, the lighting wouldn't be great. So expect to get ready with me soon, but just not too soon because it's not been filmed. I need to refilm it. I literally got five minutes of footage. But I realised that I didn't even address that this is a different day. Hello. I didn't finish off the vlog because we, we ordered Pizza Hut in the end. We ordered Pizza Hut and we binged them three episodes of Happy Valley. It was very good, really enjoyed it. We got the last episode on Sunday, so I'm very excited about that. Yeah, I thought I'd carry on vlogging today because my bedroom mirror is coming today. And as this is like a home updatey, just like, you know, that kind of vlog, I think it, I thought it would tie in nicely. And I do really want to show you guys as well the mirror because the bedroom mirror that we have, well, I'll show you. And also my throws and cushions came, so I'll show you that now as well. So this is... The bed, this is what we went for. I just wanted it to be really clean. Like I didn't want any other colors going on. I just, I, for some reason like the bed, I just want it to be pure white clean. Like you know it's 100% clean because there's no marks on it, no stains on it. You know, just, yeah, I just really envisioned like all white kind of on the bed basically. So this is what I ordered. This is from the white company. It's actually one of their new um, ranges. I had decided on another set and then they bring this out on their new end, so I ended up getting this because I really like it. It just do you know what it reminds me of it reminds me of like a baby shawl. Like is that kind of like I don't know why, but it just reminds me of like a baby shawl, and I feel like it's just really simple and just I don't know. So I got everything matchy and I've got the large pillow, the smaller pillow, and then also the throw. I end this this small one because there was a few creases in it, and oh my god, it was like a workout trying to work um iron this huge bloody throw like i was literally sweating but i think it looks really nice i love the all white um, and also obviously when that wall's green and stuff i think it will just look nice and fresh with obviously the green um and yeah but yeah this is the mirror that is there currently it's like a silver kind of grand mirror which i really like but i just wanted more simple kind of vibe in the bedroom just wanted to feel like really kind of clean and fresh and airy in here and i think as well because our living room is so like more dark and has more i don't know i like the vibe in there so i want this to be kind of opposite i don't really know so i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea i just have this thing where i really want to like tea. i don't know 
understand why it's like if you don't like something you don't like something right but like i really just want to be you know getting into it like last night i went to bed i really fancied a hot drink so i had a coffee and then i was up till midnight because i couldn't fall back to sleep so i really just want to get myself into tea so i'm gonna give it another go i have tried tea quite a lot in life and i just don't like the uh the taste of it but we're gonna give it a go i don't actually know what Hopefully they're fine. Okay, taste test. I just don't know. I just don't know what it tastes like. It's like, in my head, it tastes like mouldy water. For some reason, that's what I associate it with. But then when I used to first drink coffee, I thought it tasted of burnt toast. So, I mean, I think we can progress. Do you know what? I'm gonna force myself to drink this. I know this is really sad. Like, why am I forcing myself to make a drink? But I just, you know, I wanna be a tea drinker. I wanna be amongst everyone when everyone's asking, you know, do you want a cup of tea? I'm like, yeah, I do want a cup of tea, actually. I'll have a cup of tea. Already it doesn't taste as bad. I think I just need to persevere and just kind of associate it positively. If I'm like, oh, get into like, I'm gonna get on the sofa, put a YouTube video with me cup of tea, you know? I just need to get that little like, oh, cup of tea thing. Our mirror is here. Looks really big, but that could be just packaging though. I'm so excited. I literally love home deliveries. I'm gonna be sad when we bought everything. So I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to. We're gonna have to redecorate. It's just so exciting waiting for needs at the um, home deliveries, don't you think? I mean, at this point, this might as well be a weekly vlog because I can't seem to finish a day off. Um, so the mirror came yesterday as we were setting it up. Well, setting up, unwrapping it. Our kebab came, which I don't know what it is at the minute, but I just really am craving takeaways. I, I feel like I go through these stages where I'm like, all I want to eat is takeaways. And then other times I'm more than happy just to like do a food shop. But to be fair to us, since we've moved in, we haven't really had takeaways. Because obviously I had the Pizza Hut, <laughs> watching Happy Valley. Yeah, then we had the kebab. Um, so yeah, basically had kebab when I went to sleep. So I thought I'd carry, I mean, I might as well just call it a weekly vlog at this point. Um, thought I would carry on the vlog because I've got a couple more deliveries today. For some reason, there's a lot of deliveries. I've ordered a lot all at once and then I've already been ordering anything for a while. But I just came back from Sainsbury's, don't be fooled by the marks of that. Because um, I had nothing. So I had to pick some things up. Got some Mexican rice. Little food shop haul. I love a food shop haul watching them in people's vlogs. I love to see what they pick up. This is really small because it was literally just a few things to tide us over. Um, these for Harrison's lunch, apparently they're really nice. I haven't tried them yet. It's the Cajun chicken breast grills from Sainsbury's. Apparently they're really nice. So, pick some up there. Soup noodles for me. I love a soup noodle. Uh, this is one of my favourite soups. It's the chicken vegetable broth from Sainsbury's. It's just really nice. I put a little bit of chilli in it. And it's really low calorie as well. Just a nice lunch. Again, love these. Chicken satays. More noodles for me, love these ones, the sober ones. Uh, I've got some bread, and then I've also got some mini eggs. And yeah, that's literally the whole one. <laughs> if I show you the mirror, because they actually show you it up, and then today we've got door handles coming and a vase. This is the mirror. We have some um, nails from a previous mirror that need to be, Harrison's gonna take them out, fill it, and then paint it and hopefully you can't see it too much i don't know whether to wall mount this mirror i can't decide it is kind of supposed to be like a leaner a leaning mirror um but yeah i can't decide whether i just want to put it on the wall it's a really big mirror this is the so i got this from i don't think i actually said i got this from william wood william wood mirrors um it's just their arched one in the antique gold and then this is the wider version as well but no i am really pleased with it it feels just a little bit more fresh in here and i like how it's quite a big mirror but i think i don't know i think because the tall ceilings i'm debating maybe putting it up on the wall um 
as a wall mirror. I don't know, haven't decided yet, but yeah, I'm really pleased with it. And then I also got like 23% off because they were doing like a January sale. So I actually got this for a really good price. Um, and the bedding as well. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch now. I think I'm just gonna have some of them chicken satay sticks and I don't know. I really need to do a big feed shop, but like I said, I'm just not, I can't be bothered. I'm just feeling really lazy this week. Um, so I'm just gonna make do with whatever I can find. So I think I'll have some of this and then, I don't know, something else. But yeah, it's like quite a hundred of these to come. So I thought, as soon as they come in and I, for some reason, haven't finished this, you know, vlog off, I thought I'll just make it like a couple of, a couple of days. I think I actually have an issue. I've just had my other parcel come from today. So this is actually a vase for the dining table, which I do already have one. I got it from H&M and it's only about three weeks old. And I do like it, but then I saw this one on their new in on, this is also from H&M. And I was like, oh, I really, really liked it. So of course it took about three years to come because H&M's delivery is absolutely abysmal. Um, but I just I loved it and if I like it oh my god why is this so hard to get out if I liked it as much as I did like on the website then I will replace that one find somewhere else to put it or maybe I don't know maybe like my mum would like it or something I'm not sure get out oh my god there we go okay so this is the vase oh my god it's so heavy that I picked up I just love it. Like, I don't even know what kind of pattern it is on it, but oh my God. Yeah, this is the vase. It's like kind of brown. It's all, it kind of looks black, but it's also brown with, hello, with cream. And it's like a really cool kind of shape as well. I really like it. So I think I'm gonna replace this. I need to quickly sort out the flowers because they currently have flowers dying in that other vase. Well, they're dead. They're not dying, they're dead. That I need to get rid of and then I will show you guys the vase. And then if I do like it, I might pop to the shops this evening and get some more flowers. We shall see if I can be bothered or not. This is literally going to kill me because there's been so much cardboard this week. I feel like we've just bought quite a few like homey things this week. And there is so much cobbled. So this is the vase. I'm obsessed with it. I just obviously need to get some um, fresh flowers. I'm thinking quite light ones just to brighten it up a little bit. Um, obviously I can mix and match if they're fresh, but yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's a lot bigger as well, which suits the table a bit more, I think. Let me put the big light on this is with the bright light on and yeah, I'm really happy with it. And then door handles also came. So this is them in the flesh is this even in focus hello okay, these are the doorknobs they're actually really heavy and um, harrison's going to do these on saturday so i will show you guys in another home update vlog and this was the old vase from h &M. i say old like i said i only bought it like a couple of weeks ago it's kind of like a brown tinted like funnily funny shaped one and yeah i do like it i just when i put it on the table i just never loved it but i think it would be good for I don't know, maybe another room or just want to have some fresh flowers or whatever. Um, so that's the other H&M one, but I'm really happy with the other one. So I'm just running myself a bath now. <laughs> God, it really embarrasses me. Don't look at me when I'm filming. Yeah, I'm just running myself a little bath now. I haven't had a bath in ages because honestly I feel like I can never be bothered to run it. But I'm running a bath. I'm going to relax in the bath. I might even have a glass of red wine, watch some YouTube. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So it was a bit kind of discombobulated, if that's the right word. Um, but just some home updates and yeah, I will definitely film another one of these because there are still a few more things that we're gonna do. I wanna show you the door handles as well. I'm really excited for them. I thought maybe Harrison might do them tonight, but it's fine, it doesn't matter. I hope you guys enjoyed this little spend the day, spend the days with me. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more of these videos and also give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed so I know carry on doing the home updates and i will see you in my next video bye